another one. So we have another Metcans problem. So this was a number um, target problem number three. So we are given this shaded region that we like to find the area, which is another funky uh, area problem. So let's make sure we understand what we are given. So we have AFC, like, you know, this is our um, arc. So this is the, the arc AFC. And we run isosceles triangle, which is good. So AB and BC should be a um, right triangle. So, I mean, A equal, which is isosceles. And AFC is drawn with a center D, so which is my center of this uh, half circle, and which is the midpoint of the hypotenuse, AB is 90. Okay, so we are given this is 90. So that must be C is also. And we want to find this shaded region. Like, we have no formula for this kind of fence region. Like, when we have such a thing, we just like to find um some regions that we can find and then maybe subtract from another region that we already know or we can find that's how we usually approach the funky areas so this region i can find if i know the area of the this half circle right if i know the area of this half circle and if i can find the area of this region then i can subtract this like a e c like this region subtract from this half circle to get shaded region so that's what I'm trying to do now, right? So let me write kind of that. So the shaded region is going to be equal to the area of the ACF. So this uh, half circle, maybe I should kind of make it a bit visual. So it will be something like this. So you don't have to do this, but I just show it so we can see what we are trying to do. So think about this is like A. Like this is C, so that will be F. So it's not great, but it's just this region minus area of the ACE, so something like this. So it's kind of similar, but it's going to be a bit of a shorter version. So we will kind of get this region. So this is A, this is C. So when you take the, the larger one and subtract the smaller, you got shaded region. So that's the goal. So but how we can get this region, like this is okay. We know that, like how to find this. So I'm gonna say this is equal to, this is gonna be a half circle, but we need the radius, right? And we are somehow lucky because this is a isosceles triangle. And if you do remember 45, 45, 90 degree triangles, so that's 45, 45. So we can just get the AC immediately. If you don't, you can use the Pythagorean, but I'm gonna use the 45, 45, because that's what we, need to know for the this kind of stuff to make it a bit faster so if this is 90 this is 90 then ac is gonna be 90 times root 2 and if you don't remember this uh x x x root 2 with 45 45 90 triangle again you just by tag um and then we got ac but ac is the diameter of this half circle which means the radius which is dc has to be half of this number, which is 45 uh, root two, which is same as AD. Okay, so now the area of that region will be like half circle is one half because that's half circle, pi times radius square, radius is 45 root two uh, square. So now we are gonna subtract this region, but we do not know that region yet. So maybe I should like, show that slightly different color so we know what we are talking. So this is the region that we need to subtract from this guy. And that is the that region. But how do you find this region? Like we wanna find the this region somehow, but it looks like we actually can find this region by taking this quarter circle, right? And subtracting this triangle. That will be that um, blue region. So let me do this right here. So the blue region would be equal to the area of the quarter circle, which is one fourth of a circle times pi times radius square, which is 90 is my radius minus area of the triangle. This is isosceles triangle. So I can multiply the, the legs, which is 90 and 90 and divide this by two. This is gonna give me the area of the, the blue region. So that's the blue region. And that needs to be subtracted from this guy. So maybe I can just write it here. So like, if you really wanna go ahead and plug these in calculators, so we actually can. So if 
but let me try to cancel this. This is 90 times 90. So if I divide 90 by two, because this is four, like two times two, that 45 times 45. So this would be just uh, 45 squared times pi. And then this is 90 times 90 over two, which is just 45 times 90. So then this guy should be subtract from this guy to get our uh, bad region, like this funky, funky region, right? So let's finish up that part. So from here, so we have 45 times root two squared. Since this is a target problem, you can go with the calculator. So there's nothing wrong with that. So, and I'll just say, if I kind of want to do without calculate, I can, but like I probably plug into calculator as well. So let's try to make this. Um, so this is like 45 root two squared. So that will be like 45 root two. Okay, so that would be square. If I square 45 root two, I get 4050. So which means this is gonna be 4050. And then if I divide that by two, I'll get 2025, which means this red part will be 20, like 25 pi. Again, I just square this guy and multiply by one half. And for the other part, so we have 45 square. So if you square 45, so you get like, let me try that. So you got 2025, which means this guy 2025. So let's write that as well. So 2025, there is a pi next to minus, this is 45 times 90. So we had times 90, which is 4050. So 4050. So this is kind of interesting because when you actually expand this negative with the parentheses, you will actually get 20, 25 pi minus 2025 pi. That will be just cancel each other. And this negative, this negative will be plus. So you get 40, 50. So, but I think we had something similar to this question before. So I'm going to find that video and kind of attach to this description. So take a look at that and compare with this one. So interestingly, the shaded region that we got is like 4050, which is 4050. But that is kind of nice because that's actually the same area as the triangle right here. And by using this kind of, um, I don't know, problem as a guide, can you actually prove this? Like if you have a triangle right here, regardless of the size of that diameter or the radius, and or maybe it's not gonna be 45 either, as long as you have like a right triangle, Try some with different numbers and see if this shaded region always equal to area of this triangle. So sometimes uh, whenever you see something new, like while you're practicing, it's good to good to see uh, if there's a kind of further to explore. I think this is one of those cases, okay? Anyway, uh, I hope that was clear. I'll see you in the next video.